think that we should uh, be taxing the rich and raise taxes on the rich? Yes, raise taxes on the rich. Most definitely, you should definitely tax the rich. Yeah, I think we should go ahead and raise taxes for the rich. The wealthy are hoarding too much of the money. They're not giving their workers on the bottom level enough money to make or like a standard living for themselves. Yes. Yes. I mean, personally, as like a middle class, I feel like it should be raised, but like at a point, it's like the rich are not going to agree with it because they're going to feel like, why them? Who would you define as, as the rich? What would be the threshold money-wise? I don't know, like, yeah, yeah upper class, yeah. like. I feel like, I guess, like, if you take, like, a company in, like, the top, like, 350, like, Amazon, like, people making, like, over, like, millions of dollars a year, something like that. 500K, half 500K. a million, yeah. Okay. I have no idea, probably, like, more than six, six digits, maybe. I think somebody that, like, has, like, a good paying job, like, usually works like inside like a business or like a doctor, lawyer, one of those people. I would say they make at least, you know, six six to seven figures a year, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they should like get taxed by at least, hmm, let's see, half their income. If you make it over like 300K salary, I feel like you should be taxed. How much should the 300,000 a year earners be taxed and then should that go up the more you make? Yeah, it yeah. should definitely go up the more you make. I'm not sure how much they should be taxed because I don't know. They lower it for the rich, so they pay less. Would you be on board with you know these these big tax hikes for the the one percent of income earners? Yeah, I think so. What do you think the top one percent of income earners? How much? What do you think that threshold is? Mm. A million dollars. Yeah. A million dollars. Above a million. Thing. Above a million dollars. Fifty to one hundred million a year. Probably like millions. Maybe even billion, who knows? You gotta be a millionaire, billionaire? I don't know, like a billion. This is actually five. Man, I weep for our, our kids in college. I weep for these students. I mean, their answers are unbelievable. Like, what, what do you think the upper deck tax is? A million dollars? A billion dollars? Anyways, let's continue. Thousand dollars a year to be being the one percent okay less than you thought yeah yeah way less you support raising taxes on on people making that um do you like the top 20 percent then do you think that the top one percent pays their fair share yeah to be honest yeah i feel like they do i feel like they do but you want to tax them more yes yes they already pay their fair share i mean i guess i, I guess i cut them a little slack you know so i guess they pay their fair share i cut them a little slack yeah Right, I cut him a little slack, Jake. Is raised? Nope. How much do you think the one percent pay in taxes currently? Like nothing. Rich people <laughs> don't even pay taxes. Donald Trump wasn't paying taxes, and he got more money than all of us. The top one percent pays more in federal income taxes than the bottom ninety percent, the the bottom rest of the country. They make about twenty percent of the total income in the United States, and they pay forty percent of all taxes. Really? Really? Wow. I had no idea all that air escaping from my head. I had no idea. Really? Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Come on, guys. That does surprise me. That's a little much. Hearing that. That's a little much. Does it, does it sound like the the one percent the wealthy pay maybe do pay their fair share? They probably do, yeah. Mm. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Why were you asking me all these questions? I'm just a college student. Okay, I have no idea. I don't even know how much money I have in my place. Ninety percent. That's cool. That's cool. Maybe, maybe a little. They still got families too. So. so. So after hearing that, you think maybe they should pay a little less than they're paying? Yeah, pay a little less. Okay. I feel like they should be taxed, but maybe not that much. Oh, jumping in? Jumping. Oh, okay. What's Jump up? Jumping. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. If someone makes uh, uh, $750,000 a year, how much of that money should they be taxed? Um, 750, 75%. 10%? Mm, that's a lot. 5%. That's a lot lower than what they're taxed now. I love this girl. 10%. That's right. 
seven hundred fifty thousand dollars ten percent. You only paid seventy five thousand dollars. Then she goes, wait a minute, that's a little bit too much. Five percent, because this girl's probably thinking she wants to be part of that one percenter. She doesn't want to pay a bunch in her taxes. Good for her. Jesus. But for why? I think fe federally they would pay somewhere in the 30s. 30 percent. <laughs> I mean, that's already a lot. It's a good question. Maybe they are already. That's already, already a lot. Maybe, yeah, Maybe. yeah. That's kind of scaling unfair, if you ask me. Change the way you think about taxing the rich a little bit. But yeah, knowing that does change my opinion. Yeah, it does. Do you think that phrase has been kind of thrown around too much and it's a little vague, and there's not a lot of really clarity to it? Yeah. Because people think rich, they think freaking Mark Zuckerberg or some stuff. Like, when you bring up that price, you say, like, how much is... To be in the 1%, the, the threshold would be making $538,000 uh, in a year. Making that compared to what Mark makes, and then people generalizing that. Yeah. Like, that... It's too, much a, it, it's too much that goes into it to make it such a general question. You have to throw more information out there and be more specific to who should be taxed and why they should be taxed they should be taxed for sure that girl right there right there out of all the students at least she's thinking a little bit wasn't just going with the flow and you know what oh yeah tax the rich tax the rich you know take it tax the rich tax the rich tax the rich this girl articulate a position now she could have a differing position she could be coming out there and saying you know what let me hear the facts, put it into context. What are we talking about? How much? And then, you know, come up with an art, come up with an, a position as to why you feel that should be the taxable rate. And then try to go ahead and persuade somebody to say, you know what, it should be 60% or 70 Why? And what would happen if it was reversed? Would you be willing to accept the same rate you want to give to anybody else? Who would you trust more to handle your money, you or the federal government? Who do you think could put it to better use? I choose myself because at the end of the day, like generational wealth. Like, I have to think about my future, my family's future. Generational wealth. Think about her future, her family's future, and down the line, a legacy. This girl is absolutely spot freaking on. She wasn't even going to be part. She just joined in the conversation. Good for her. Sure, I know what I want to do with my money because it's my money. The more, the more you talk, the more I think you're not a big. You're becoming less and less a fan of taxes. Never liked them. <laughs> <laughs> so this girl right here, just like the the. Uh, Interviewer is asking over, asking her and saying, looks like you're not that big a fan of tax. And she goes, no, not really. Excellent, excellent. Uh, it just shows the views out there on campus. These kids are not even working yet. They don't even have jobs yet. So it's so easy. And you hear the mantra from the left and the progressives, you know, tax the rich, tax the rich, as we've talked about. But what it comes down to it is that what's going to happen when it's your turn to be taxed? And somebody is determining how much of your money somebody should be taking. Anyways, folks, we take we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host, Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. Hit that like, share button. You know what to do. Check out our links above and below. We certainly hope you take the time to do so. We certainly appreciate the time you took to watch. I'll leave you with my final thought, which is when you're right, you're right. Like this girl here. And when you're left, you're wrong. We'll see you again next time, folks. Until, until then, take care and stay safe.